You don't speak unless we tell you to. Different MCs have different organizational charts. The difference structurally for the Mayans as opposed to SOA is uh, the Mayans more like a traditionally structured uh, organized crime family, you know, where you'd have a, a godfather, capos and soldiers, and but there'd be one guy calling the shots. Marcus Alvarez, who began the charter, is sort of the national president, and he essentially makes the major calls. He gets information and input and quite often blowback from the presidents of other charters that influence those decisions, but it's essentially one guy and kind of a committee that makes these choices. I'm the main shot caller. You know, whatever happens in any state or any county has to come through me first because if it's something that can go bad on their part, it affects all the clubs, you know. Time to go, Prospect. A prospect is, I guess you would say, like the rookie. You know, he's not fully patched in. He's not a full member. He's got to go through the, the initiation. I, I'm not included in all their meetings. Whatever they ask me to do, I got to do. Guess it up and detail it. I don't want to see a speck of dust. Yes, sir. A bishop, at the end of the day, he's always got his eyes in the back of his head, you know, because he knows, as a president, everybody wants what you got. Everybody wants to be where you're at. Uh, so your head's always on a swivel. Hank Loza is the El Pacificador. He's the sergeant at arms. He is the enforcer of the club. He's also um, the first one to shield, protect the president. But he's also, you know, looks out and enforces, you know, the iron hand of the club. He's probably not afraid to uh, earn his bones taking care of business. The Mayans, it's like a bunch of stray dogs. Ready to go home, boys, go. They're not huge, but they're, they're, they're tight. Crew you don't want to mess with.